The idea behind color correction is to be able to match the colors from what you originally saw with that what the camera has recorded. Sometimes, because of lighting and exposure, the colors may shift. In this tutorial, we'll look at the color correction feature of Video Studio. By double clicking on a clip in the timeline, it will open up the options panel and will have the ability to apply color correction. I'll start with white balance. Now white balance restores the natural color temperature of an image by removing unwanted color casts due to conflicting light sources and incorrect camera settings. I'll select white balance. Using my eyedropper tool, I'm going to pick up a color that should be white. Next, I can set the type of lighting. If the shot was originally done in tungsten, then I'll want to select tungsten. However, this particular shot was shot in daylight. You'll notice that as I select these, my color temperature is changing as well. There are other options in here as well, such as cloudy. I can do shadow. And the final one is overcast. Uh, notice that my temperature, as I say, is changing. My color shifting slightly as well. I'm going to select daylight for this. Now over here, we have some sliders. These sliders will adjust a number of things such as hue, saturation, brightness, contrast, and gamma. Now, these definitions come from Cambridge in Color website and aptly define these terms. Hue and saturation. Naturally occurring colors are not just at one wavelength, but actually contain a whole range of wavelengths. The color's hue describes which wavelength appears to be most dominant. Saturation is a measure of the purity a highly saturated color will contain a very narrow set of wavelengths and appear much more pronounced than a similar but less saturated color. And the final one, gamma. Gamma defines the relationship between pixel's numerical value and its actual luminescence. Without gamma, shades captured by digital cameras won't appear as they did to our eyes or on a standard monitor. Now I'm going to adjust some of these settings. I'm going to bring down my brightness. I'll drop the contrast a bit as well. And I'm going to bring up my gamma. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play this clip. And you can see that the coloring and contrast has been greatly improved. Now I want to show you what this clip looked like before those adjustments. So to revert these adjustments back, it's easy enough just to double click the control and it will reset that to zero or clicking here returns them all to zero. Let me go back to the beginning of my project and I'm going to go ahead and play this and you can see what it looked like beforehand. You'll notice it's quite a bit darker and my color shift is off a little bit. With a bit of tweaking, you should be able to get the most out of a clip that may not have had been shot in the most ideal of conditions. That brings us to the end of this short little tutorial on working with color correction in Video Studio. If you found this tutorial on YouTube while searching for training content, be sure to head on over to the Discovery Center at learn.corel.com for more equally informative videos.